All right, everyone. It is me, Jutsu Chat. Oh, woke up pretty early today, too. Uh, but I had a decent night's rest as well. I'm going to wait myself, uh, in, I guess, what feels like a few weeks now. You know, a couple, maybe a month and a half. But I think I might be losing weight because I've noticed that my, um, like, yeah, I still have my normal appetite, of course. But then I notice I'm eating le slightly less and less food. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm just kind of full. I just, I just don't feel like eating. So, uh, yeah, I, I think I might be slimming down. Even though I still see my gut. So, yeah. But we'll have to see. Anyway, uh, oh, so they finally did release data for this week. All right, so there appears to be a lot of stuff going on today. Uh, and I myself have been uh, doing a lot of uh, research into the whole China-U.S. tension stuff. And I completely almost forgot that one of the reasons why, I, I, in fact, I think the reason why China's doing all their exit bans is because they're really pissed that um, Canada, quote-unquote, took hostage the daughter of Huawei's... Uh, Founder, so her name was what's her name again? Ah, oh, God, well, Meng, uh, Meng Wanzhou. So, uh, so again, people, most, I get, I think most people, interestingly enough, the media does not really cover this, uh, too much, right? It's not a big splash, not unlike, say, you know, the whole, um, I don't know, like just a typical, you know, rant about rant against Trump, right? Um, I mean, I, there could be a lot of reasons for it. Uh, I think it's also because a lot of them are just simply afraid of China, or they're getting funding from China, right? So they don't want to piss people off. But on the other hand, they're probably a little uneasy about going to bat for Ming. So it, they're like kind of caught between a rock and a hard place. So the media is like, yeah, you know what? You know, screw this, fuck this. So uh, the, you know, that's that. But yeah, um, it's the equivalent of like if Steve, well, Steve, uh, it's like. Um, no, who's who's famous? All right, so yeah, so let's say we we all know who Jeff Bezos is, right? <clears throat> you know, if he had a son or a daughter, I know I think he has I know he has children, but I don't know if he has a daughter. But basically, <clears throat> uh, the Chinese view what Canada did uh, as like if if, if like you know China abducted like you know the one of the kids of Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk actually Elon Musk just had a kid. <clears throat> so what do you think what would happen there? You know. So that, that, that's why China is, you know, very angry. Uh, but uh, from what I can tell, the West is actually no longer backing down. Like, they're actually starting to get pretty mad at China. Uh, so um, all I have to say is, well, uh, everybody gets what they deserve, karma-wise, right? And, of course, us being Chinese, we're not above, you know, karma, karmic law. You know, we're not above God. No one is. So, you know... Uh, I'm just gonna have to leave it at that because you know I I want to I want to avoid not pissing off China too much, but uh, yeah, things are coming down, right? You know, the world order is I think becoming more truthful, and definitely shit's happening here in America too. So I think all is uh, all is pretty well. I also don't know if I mentioned I might mention yesterday. I also refollowed the uh, leader of the Gripper uprising because it looks like they finally patched up whatever problem they had with Jacob Lloyd, so I'm, 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 I'm good with that. I also checked and verified to see if he was at least following him back, because that, because, uh, because that and I would know, oh, okay, so he unblocked him, and that's what I was looking for, like, okay, so things are pretty good, and then, uh, yeah, he did explain also why, I haven't finished watching last night's uh, show, but he actually did explain that America First is inevitable in a little more detail because I'm like, okay, well, like, what does that mean? Uh, he actually said um, it's because people are becoming uh, more racially aware about you know, them being genocided in their own country. I'm paraphrasing it lightly because I need to change the words, but that's essentially what's happening. Um, uh, what you call it? Because I can't specify. Well, actually, maybe I could. Actually, yeah, it's probably safe. Yeah, so he actually said that whites will are becoming more racially aware, and he used the anecdote of like a little girl uh, that said something about, oh, that BLM thing is still going on. Well, what about you know? I, I don't want to avoid, but you know, whites blank matter, right? You know, I, I want to be a little careful here, but basically, yeah, which is true, right? And I should, and I shouldn't even have to tiptoe around that, right? It's like. You know, it's like what, what, what the hell, man? 
you know. But but that's but he, but but then he went on to explain that it's the counter reaction to all this bullshit that we're dealing with. Uh, and what's also interesting is black people now seem to be uh, going really hard against uh, Jewish people for whatever reason. Uh, and then one of them actually got super duper banned by like the entire world. His Instagram got deleted. His Twitter got deleted. His name was Wiley CEO. So I'll just do. A, um, I'm just gonna do this here. Uh, okay, they think I'm referring to the backpack. Here we go. Twi oh, yeah, see, it's right here. Uh, here we go. Twitter, Instagram, face backlash, boycott after blank. Well, it's at, well, according to, I mean, this is a day ago. Uh, I was reading Dissident Right website this morning, so he, well, according to that article, he's already been deleted off of here. Um, then there's a boycott, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's suspended. So, oh, his thing, well, let me see. Is it suspended or is it still there? Yeah, he, he's like ultra fucking suspended. Oh yeah, because of the whole China Hong Kong thing, my proxy no longer uh, operates in Hong Kong anymore. They actually got rid of it because they had to leave. So now I'm on a uh, Japan, uh, Japan thing. And all the for some reason the Australian proxy always likes to go down on Tunnel Bear. I'm, I'm guessing it's just like physical problems. But yeah, this guy has just been deleted off the internet. So. What, is, what have I always said? If you want to know who rules over you, find out who you cannot criticize. So, uh, yeah. Yep, yeah, but, uh, but with that being said, uh, how will black Twitter retaliate against something like this? Um, I don't know, actually. There's, it's a 50-50. They'll either submit and then go back to basically attacking white people, or... Uh, they might actually just get very angry uh, and go, yo, what the fuck? They're like, why did you ban us? It's like, you know, because remember when Louis Farrakhan got banned and shit on Facebook? Uh, then, like, Snoop Dogg and everybody got, like, fucking ultra angry. Oh, I know who exactly I should. Tariq Nasheed. I'm willing to bet he must have tweeted something about this. Um, okay. Okay, uh, oh, wow. Poor guy. What? Oh, so Tariq's actually starting to get kind of annoyed with the left-wing shit, too, even though he still is, you know, very much like you know, a black supremacist, but, uh, 27, yeah, I don't see anything about this, uh, so, well, I'll probably leave this over, because it's Trump support, and poor guy got killed, but, yeah, I don't see anything about it, Tariq was always about, like, censorship and shit, so Tariq probably is afraid of them, too, he probably doesn't want to get deleted off the internet like uh, Wiley CEO did, but yeah. Shit like that is actually starting to, um, uh, yes, St shit like that is actually starting to uh, unravel. So things are going along pretty well, despite how bad it looks. And Trump actually also, um, actually, has he mentioned DACA here? Because I know I, I guess we'll have to go over here. Um... Yeah, so I'll just read this here. But yeah, Trump actually has basically is actually going ahead with just suspending DACA as best as he can by reducing applications, reducing times, you know, uh, blah blah blah. He's also apparently just defying like a federal court order from Maryland or whatever. So I'm finally glad that Trump's doing the right thing, and he also appointed uh, the new Ger the new ambassador in Germany is very anti neo conservative and very anti war. So and he's blatantly so. And it's pissing off the uh, people who control America off a lot. So Trump's really doing uh, doing very well. So assuming he keeps this up, yeah, I'll probably get off my ass and then you know walk you know walk a little bit over to my polling area and then you know do my symbolic uh, little protest vote and you know vote for Trump and shit. Actually, there's also local elections in my area too. Obviously, this year. So uh, actually, it would affect the Republican Party that way. So yeah. So it's all on Trump. So if he keeps doing what he's doing, yeah, you know, I'll just do straight line uh, Republican. 
the problem is because I live in New York City, a lot of Democrats run unopposed, or they also run as Republican, Democrat, and Independent. Like their their name actually shows up on the entire like thing, so you have to vote for that one person. And it's like kind of hilarious, you know. I, that's why I get very hesitant about like you know just get your thirty people and form a Republican club. And I'm like thinking to myself, George Soros doesn't do that. I, like, look what George Soros doing at AOC. It's like, I, I don't know about this. But I don't know. I'm, uh, you know, my, my game and show and my logo is, like, the logo for my show is coming out. Like, it's, it looks so fucking good. Like, I just can't wait to show it. So I'll do all that, you know, get rich, get famous, blah, blah, blah. I'll, I'll be established in Tampa Bay, Florida, you know. And then we'll, uh, we'll figure out from there. I also, I also will be making a movie studio down there, too, so... You know, I'm, I'm going to have a lot of pull in Tampa. And considering the cheap cost of living there, um, yeah. Also, we got a military. We have, what is it? Yeah. U.S. CENTCOM right next door. So, you know, let's all be getting quite antiquated, which makes sense because it's, my show is still a sci fi fantasy military show. So, yeah. Um, you know, I think Battlestar Galactico, like swords and elves and shit. All right, anyway, I've rambled on. Uh, all right, so we got a lot to cover. Um, I mean, I kind of already covered some of it. So let's see. Bitcoin searches for this week have been has rate has gone up to twelve. I think it has raised to twelve. Has risen risen to twelve. So so far so good. The normies are getting in on it. Um, Twenty four hour volume. Well, Bitcoin does is sixty two point seven percent. So it's gone down a bit. We do want this number to keep going down. 24 hour volume, 93.6 billion, so very good. Bitcoin's at 11,106, so I like that. Litecoin's at 55.60, so pretty much it's recovering from yesterday's pullback, and it looks like it's kind of just chilling over here. Because, <clears throat> uh, which is actually fine, as much as I want this thing to keep skyrocketing. You know, there's still an election, things are changing, you know, Trump's doing better and better, and on top of that, again, uh, there's still a lot of. Hmm. This is the most annoying thing. I can't burp, but then if I keep talking, like it's gonna give me hiccups. Uh, what you gonna call it? So um, now I lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, so there's still a lot of uncertainty. So you know, I'm I'm okay with slow, steady progress. You know, that's usually the best, right? You know, and then once once the election's over, then there'll be some certainty. Hopefully, Trump will just simply get reelected, and then you know, current trends will continue. But what I can tell, I think what's happening basically in the world is uh, China is beholden to nobody, right? They're they're their own power, and they want control. They want number one spot, right? Which is held technically by the United States. But the United States is controlled by the you know who is that cannot be mentioned or criticized. So that tribe versus China are butting heads right now. And the problem I have is, well, everyone's kind of just doing bad stuff, right? You know, we all, well, not we as in you and me, but like the governments, you know, are like, like it's like everyone's just being an asshole. So, you know, I mean, if I really have to pick and choose... I actually would not be sure, right? On the one hand, I'll have more free speech, funny enough, under, say, CCP rule. Granted, uh, you know, I might get detained at random, right? And then just be in a Chinese torture prison forever. Uh, but then I also don't really have any criticism against the CCP. But again, if they're run by paranoid people, and then, you know, they believe in collective punishment, right? If, anyone, like, if anyone's watched my old videos... I mentioned a lot about a show called uh, the Amazon show called Man in the High Castle. And in that show, the Imperial Japanese and the Nazis win World War II in an alternative history, right? And what, are the, and, then, and what do the Japanese do, right? For every one of theirs that dies from like, random terrorist, atta terrorist attacks from their point of view, they just round up like 12 to 20 civilians literally are on the street and have them shot and then just dump their bodies. It's like very bad, right? You know, we're, you know, you know, my... You know, it's it's not nice. Okay, I'll leave it at that. So um, yeah, so I'm thinking, yeah, let them fight it out, and then we'll uh, we true good people, or at least trying to be good people, and us definitely true Christians will actually just you know purge this world of all the bullshit, right? So it's kind of like uh, in video game terms, we're gonna third party them, all right? Right now, two the two big honchos 
are butting heads and wasting resources attacking each other. Right? We are the third party people. We're the third wheel. We're, we're the forgotten slaves of this world that have to do the bidding of uh, whoever is in charge. And we don't want to be slaves anymore. So, uh, so we're going to come in uh, when they weaken the, when they when those two idiots you know fight it out against each other and then they'll uh, you know we third party everybody and hopefully we restore some semblance of sanity in this world. All right. So anyway, Dog Coins at four hundred six million uh, market cap and one of the big reasons why I've been getting a lot more interested in the China stuff aside from self preservation is if uh, you know like my parents really insist about having their ashes spread in like some sacred mountain in China. Uh, the problem is, because of the exit bans, I'm going to become an uh, indefinite hostage and no one will ever hear from me. So I'm trying to think, you know, even if I did become rich and famous, yeah, I'm going to be held hostage, right? I mean, it'll be a huge outcry, but not really much is going to get done. So I, I'm going to tell my parents up front, I'm going to send somebody else to bury your ashes there. I will not step foot in China, because we can't, right? We can't. Right. And, it's, and because it's all sourced from the Meng Wenzhou fiasco, yeah, if they put her in prison, the exit bans are going to stay in place, and then China's just going to go ballistic at that point. <laughs> no pun intended. But for the most part, um, yeah, I actually think U.S. dominance will still continue. It'll, it'll decrease, of course, but it'll still be way ahead of everyone else. It's all relative until you get the math, and the math over, like, what, we have 6,290 nukes, China has like 260 or 290, and their anti-ballistic missile tech, if what I saw on YouTube, is somewhat correct. Yeah, it doesn't actually, uh, I mean, not anti-ballistic, but their mass Zerg ballistic missile strategy actually is pretty ineffective. Our aircraft carriers can actually just dodge uh, all the ships, I mean, all the missiles. It takes 30, like, it... It takes 30 to 90 minutes to get a, a, a somewhat accurate lock on to the aircraft carrier. And because the, uh, I think they mentioned the USS Reagan as one of them, right? It, it goes at 35 miles an hour. That's really fast for a giant ass ship like that. And then basically, like, the square miles uh, that it can shift to, it'll just be too much. Obviously, we're not going to put the aircraft carrier right off the coast of China, right? Because that's obviously stupid you would put a battleship there we don't we don't even do that everything's all long-range crazy shit so yeah so i think we're actually fine uh well i guess i did want to learn japanese so i could learn uh, anime stuff anyway all right so anyway, stock features are actually let's refresh this because i rambled on for so long that this has gone pretty well all right so markets are flat there's a big tech hearing, but I assume that nothing's going to come from it. It's all going to be bullshit. But, you know, who knows? Uh, who knows? Uh, Bill Gates uh, says not everyone in the U.S. is not taking coronavirus seriously. Well, we definitely did, and we all are angry about it. So that's why. Being free may not let Google and Facebook off the hook. Um, actually, I do want to read this. Okay. Um, Bezos will try to win over hearts and minds. Uh, I actually read this offline, but basically Jeff Bezos is like, oh, everyone's getting angry at me. Let me try to do my charm offensive. Uh, it's all going to be bullshit. Um, but I'm glad that we're actually trying to put up some kind of resistance. And now that I think about it, yeah, there are a lot of rich people, especially Chinese billionaires, that are wanted by the Chinese government. But who actually has more power? Right? Yeah, the Chinese government. So I think the leader of the Gorp Rebarizing is correct. You know, the... The most important part of power really is government. It's not money, right? Money obviously leads directly to power, but you still have to uh, transmute and that's my own word and convert it into actual power. And I see that this is actually a problem that a lot of these renegade Chinese dissident billionaires, especially the one that's working with Steve Bannon, uh, have critically missed. They just made him a lot of money, but didn't really do too much about it. So yeah, so you know, enter someone like myself. Uh, but oh, I mean, I've got so many enemies, and I still have to deal with the fake, right? So, yeah, I don't know. We'll take it one day at a time. Shopify, blah, blah. Well, what investors is that? Very much stocks fall. <clears throat> Jim Carrey, obviously, when the rubber hits the road, there's main stocks, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so it looks like everyone's just preoccupied with the thing. And then Bill Barr did a hearing yesterday, which I just could care less about. 
I mean, if, um, with that being said, apparently they are kind of issuing federal charges against all the rioters, so hopefully that will solve a lot of problems. Uh, I've been a little neutral. That's fine. JFC coins at seven to nine. Um, we're still. I mean, it's gonna be a while before we can swap this coin. Um, so it's just gonna be whenever. I'm actually thinking that I might take some of the swap money from JMC coin and put it towards listing. Uh, well, I guess I, I guess I can't mention yet, but the cryptocurrency that I already have. So you know, instead of BTC pop, maybe we'll put on Crex first. Uh, but I mean, Crex charges still a lot more, so uh, I don't know. Well, we'll have to see. Uh, four four coins at one sixty eight to one ninety nine. Uh, the you know like. Uh, people are still just anticipating that this is going to skyrocket, so that's why volume and trade is dying here. It's uh, it's very irritating, uh, but hopefully it'll stabilize. Um, two by two coin still uh, getting hit pretty hard, thirty five to thirty seven, right? But it's also because the supply is actually starting to approach the appropriate amount. So, and of course, Rick's. I don't know what's wrong with this page. Resources spent. Okay, let me actually uh, queue up more Shop Titan stuff. Refuse, refuse, refuse. Okay, uh, alright, there's something wrong with Chrome, so, I mean, Firefox, so let's see. Rix is at 154 to 160. Oh, wow, so it couldn't even hold 181. Uh, but that's about right. The thing I find irritating is people are saying 404 coin is worth less than Rix. Even though Rix has way more supply, it's so ir aggravating. Uh, but I mean, that's just how it goes because you know the major altcoins are going up, and including Bitcoin, and then we don't have a use case yet, right? I mean, I'm still. I mean, I, I really do think there's something bad that happened to the tar defense guy, so now I can't get help from him. You know, so I mean, it's still gonna come out the game. Now well, they should figure everything out. Oh, there it is. So now you can see it. But yeah, it does del delay development, right? You know, and you know, if I don't make enough money, well, guess what? You know, I have to slow down production. You know, when I make the second game, so I don't know. I have a couple of choices. Like I might actually, because I decided not to release on Steam, but now I'm not entirely sure. Maybe I want to release on Steam to get the free marketing and the free publicity. You know, um, and then number two, also release a web browser version of it. You know, so. I don't know. Um, I don't know uh, because the web browser version. Then I'll actually implement uh, CoinPayments.net and then see how that goes. All right? Because if I actually see people buying with crypto, then I'll actually have a. Then I will actually have a, a, a measure of like, ah, okay, this crypto stuff works. But the thing is, I don't have ten thousand dollars to. Pay the listing ten thousand euros, not even dollars, but ten thousand euros to pay the listing fee for fucking coin payments. So I'm like, yeah, is it really worth it for me to go through all that hassle? Then it's like, yeah, I don't know. It's it's difficult. It's difficult because I could, because I think I could theoretically make money off the web version. So maybe I could do another thing. Don't put it on Steam, I just put it on the web. But then, then I sacrifice free marketing because Steam is a pretty good free marketing platform. Like once you get the thing established, right? And it'll just show up in the search results for like tower defense. There's a lot to consider. There's a lot to consider. Anyway, 93% Bitcoins, supply profitable at 11K, realized price recovers. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Bitcoin bulls are running. Okay. Uh, harder. The Bitcoin search just spiked. This guy is just so retarded. This guy is just so retarded. I don't know, but this guy definitely ha is an evil globalist agenda. Fuck this guy. Uh, Peter Schiff, or Peter Scan. Former hedge fund billionaire makes a case for 20k Bitcoin by the end of 2020. I mean, if the current trends continue, yeah. If Trump wins re-election, it could very well happen, for sure. Uh, eight ways to understand. Okay, uh, so really nothing here. Uh, is Bitcoin legal in Bitcoin mine legal in India? I still don't know. Oh yeah, so India still has this like huge hard on for like a bashing Bitcoin. But I know there's a lot of people in India that are also uh, what you might call uh, supporting it too, which is good. So um, with that being said, 
now that uh, everyone's getting mad at China, and India especially is getting really angry at China, because not only are they economic rivals, because India wants to take over for being the world's largest labor pool, and technology pool, blah, 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 blah. Uh, of course, you know about that border skirmish where like a bunch of soldiers from both sides like shot at each other, and they, there was like it was like 14 Indian troops died, and then 21 Chinese soldiers died. So, I think you haven't heard much about it, because obviously China's like, hey, well, 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 you know, let's, uh, let's talk. So, hopefully they cool shit down there. But, yeah, everyone's starting to get annoyed with uh, with China, so uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Ripple moves 83 million. Now, whales are buying this relatively unknown. Okay. Bitcoin smashed through. Uh, so, to outpace Bitcoin predicts analysts. Uh, okay. Uh, I already have my own prediction. Oh man, that looks so good. Summer. Oh my God, look at the uh, ads by Google. Uh, this ad probably works really well, especially since it's summer. It's still technically after July Fourth. Yeah, this thing probably does does like such a good click through rate. I wouldn't be surprised if it's five to twenty percent. This is. Oh god, I really want to click this because by now I'm not gonna buy. But oh, man, I'm really curious. Ah, fuck it, I'm kind of curious. All right, we'll let that thing load. Uh, Bitcoin banking making this bigger deal than most of crypto. It says Caitlin Long. Okay, so we're gonna read that. Oh, we have a lot of shit to cover today, man. Oh god, are you getting hungry yet? Because I'm getting hungry. Ah. See, the only thing I don't like about cooking, aside from the time preparation, is the fact that it takes so long to do. If it weren't for those two damn things, I would, I would totally do it. Uh, small baby, baby pork back ribs, two racks, one point two kilograms. Whoa, that is so much. Uh, like this is designed for like restaurants. Well, I guess, I guess they think I'm a Japanese restaurant or something. Blockchain analysis firm chain launches free watch from attractive crypto. No, Santa's ripple power panel that hits Bitcoin. One of the largest Bitcoin wallet markets just transferred. Okay. And this is old stuff. All right. So let's see. So yeah, Trump's still hovering around this thing. Um, I'm going to refresh that and make sure we got the thing. All right. Let's see. What do you got for us? All right. There's our two articles. Um, actually, oh, let's read the Yahoo article first. Okay, uh, Kanye West is still one. Okay. Big Pharma's taking time trying to make the case. Uh, oh, he's retweeting that Law and Order. CP Joe buys a Trojan horse. Uh, okay, uh, well, uh, you know, in a way, I would. Do you ever see spent 52 million on a temporary house that treated 79 coronavirus patients? That's what they tend to do. Actually, as much as I don't like Sean Hannity, mostly because he's still like way boomerish and he even defended Amazon, which pissed us all off, of course. Um, I'm going to retweet this simply because this actually lowers. Because what more people are going to notice is like, wait a minute, this coronavirus shit isn't as bad as they say there uh, as it is. What the fuck's going on? So I'm glad that Trump's taking that part of the coronavirus bullshit a lot more seriously. Uh, I'm guessing he's still too afraid to just flat out say it up front, probably because the problem is a lot of conservative boomers, especially old people, actually believe this bullshit, and it's so aggravating. That's kind of the reason why I want to be a lot more hostile towards boomers. He is on. Uh, okay, no one cares about that. Um, okay, the plus self help people for people who hate uh, what? Okay, Trish. Uh, is, uh, culture must end, which is funny because she had somebody on that would. Um, I'm still following Stephanie Hamill, but she had Stephanie Hamill on, who basically condemned the Griper uprising and the leader of the Griper uprising. That kind of like really annoys the hell out of me. Uh, she's a stupid cunt. Uh, no matter what Trump did, when he closed out, how many masks he wore, now he uses his front as a political weapon. Well, they kind of already did. So, I mean, it's pretty tame today. Um, uh, he can no longer hold in-person rallies during the pandemic. But I mean, this actually hurts Trump, but, I mean, what, what is he going to do? If he's going to fight, 
conservative boomers who are actually legit scared about coronavirus plus possible like bad polling numbers. So it is technically a convenient excuse to avoid like the small rallies, but uh, small rally disaster like in Tulsa, Oklahoma. But that's a big part of Trump's strength. So uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, I, New York still counting votes from its previous primary election. Yeah, I mean, it's all it's all rigged. Um, uh, these are crazy. Okay, blah blah. All right, so. All right, he's doing a little more here. Kelly McKinney, blah, 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 wait, what's this? Kodak bring me back, oh, okay. It announces a historic sense of criminal deal with Kodak bring me going back to, Kodak does medical manufacturing? I thought they only still did film shit and they were on the verge of uh, bankruptcy. All right, so I don't see too much crazy shit against China, especially after China mentioned uh, the, uh, the whole thing about um, white genocide occurring in the West and especially in America. So that definitely seemed to have really blunted that shit. So it's going to be uh, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. Fortunately, the exit bands are still going kind of nuts, though. So yeah, just don't just, 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 just still going to China right now. Uh, in fact, the travel advisory warning is still uh, uh, on level four red alert. Like it's the worst possible level. It says do not travel. So. Yeah. Here's why being free may not let Google and Facebook off the hook, which is good. Story continues. Uh, my God, this is really okay. This because this is so long. I'm gonna read this first because I assume this is way shorter. Event says the latest crypto bank breakthrough spearheaded by the OCC has implications that are way blah blah blah. Uh, Highlights the importance of the banking regulators declaring that banks are legally allowed to custody cryptocurrencies. Yes, because it's more mainstream adoption. Also, banks will be less inclined, like JP Morgan's and Bank of America, are going to be a lot less inclined to attack crypto because they're going to be like, shit, our competitors are getting rich off of crypto and they're holding shit, so we got to do the same thing. So, you know, we can't appeal to morality, we can appeal to these asshole, big banks' assholes' is greed. So, you know, it, it, you know, that's the American. That's the American capitalistic way, right? Self-interest is what's most important, right? Because we know people are going to be bad, so we got to try to leverage that self-interest badness so to the benefit of we the people. So you know, it's a it's a lower it's a I don't want to say low form compromise, but it's definitely a compromise, right? You can't you can't negotiate with bad people then make them work for your ideals, kind of thing. Yeah. Hey, I should put that. That's going to go into my script, actually. Uh, hold on. Uh, Lyle, the nice thing. Can't negotiate with bad more and more. With bad, with bad evil people, we can use, we can, we can leverage their morale. Their lack of morale to the benefit of we the people. It's a compromise. I so cannot wait to start promoting this game and the story. It's gonna be uh, gonna be awesome, especially when I when I, especially when I saw the logo. I paid sixty five dollars for the guy to make the logo. Wow, it's just wow. You know, I also now understand why you just can't be a pure conservative. Like you're you're just not gonna be able to do the cool shit that I'm doing now. So, but the next generation of conservatives will understand this. So that's uh, so there, there there is definitely a light at the end of the tunnel. Only a relatively small fraction of the banks that are regulated by the OCC are the day. They are not different. There is a percentage of that managed just because it's national. But here is the difference. State banks have the exact same master account the Federal Reserve that a national bank has. Yeah, that actually would make sense because you all because every time you file a banking charter, eventually all that shit has to go back to the Federal Reserve in America. 
They can do the same thing as state member banks by law can do everything that a national bank can do. Oh, okay. That I did not know. In the near term, Long believes crypto companies could be negatively affected by this decision because of the need to go through the lengthy process to acquire a bank license. Yes. The entire landscape in the US just shifted, and now you think you need a bank license in order to be competitive, and that's the bottom line. Oh, huh. If a bank can cost you crypto, particularly one of the big guys, all the native crypto going now need to get bank It's not why, what folks weren't warned. It takes 9 to 12 months to get bank loss. It is unbelievably difficult. Yeah, because of the whole uh, money laundering scam scheme. Um, yeah, but I mean, well, let's see. Gemini does custody. Coinbase obviously does custody. So, I mean, I already do crypto or fiat business with the big boys anyway and i don't even understand the whole custody thing versus just transferring crypto so i mean there are so i, I think it's not as bad but um, we'll have to see we'll have to keep an eye on it. but overall you know like like she said i think i do agree with it yeah it's just a short-term problem so uh but yeah nine to 12 months is not that bad you used to have to get wait 20 or 30 years to get a stupid banking commission from the federal government so yeah, consider yourselves very lucky, man. Here's why being free may not let them off the hook. All right, let's take a look. Four words of the most powerful CEOs are set to justify blah, 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 blah. Politically check over, illegally blocking power from their industries, which, which is true, they are doing that. And two of them, uh, uh, Alphabets and uh, hey, Mario may feel like they're assuming a popular right here, that the car are not illegal because they're absurd. Yeah. yet. And experts say the theory is, isn't one that holds water under the law. Free is a price, just like 10 is a price, just like minus 10 is a price. Oh, that's actually a pretty good way. Yeah, using math against them. It's actually pretty good. There's an open question about whether free is the correct price for some of these. It is not obvious. For, because that is true in the past. I don't remember the particular cases, but the um, in anti, it's very established in antitrust law that when you drop the price deliberately to fuck somebody else over, specifically your competitors, that's actually antitrust. I forgot what it's called, but there's a whole thing around it. So free is basically doing the same exact thing. Uh, it's not really going to call it that it is. Uh, Google and Facebook have found me that like, wow, they could be just found in a way that allows for entry of new competitors. One resulting scenario could be both could be that both must pay users for the data they generate in order to remain competitive. Oh, this would be amazing. Paying us to use our data, yeah. Google and Facebook offer different products that the companies are under shooter behavior that has led to dollars in the digital identity, advertising energy, the product. Yeah, because now that I'm looking into uh, advertising uh, my game, or I'm looking at various digital options, I mean, it ultimately all comes back to just, yeah, it's just better for me to use Facebook. And that's kind of a problem, right? I need more, I need more avenues. The product forum where the money released would be Google, which is dodged bullet back in 2013. Uh, has amassed users by community. Meanwhile, Facebook types of and okay, well, well, we don't need, we don't need that. Companies command a combined fifty-seven percent market share of the one thirty billion digital advertising industry. Google with thirty-seven and Facebook with twenty. Wow, people still use Google for this. I mean, I guess they're including YouTube in that because I don't want to advertise in Google. Like they're just so hostile towards the small guy, and it's really expensive. Uh, but YouTube advertising might be pretty viable. Their market position has been bolstered by strategic agreement that full of swaths of the digital. Da, 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 da. Yeah, they've been buying out lots of companies. As one of the girls, Gilles Serena, the founder of its explosive goods, is capable is incapable of harming customers by alleged illegal monopolistic behavior because of users' cost of performance search is zero bucks. Likewise, users can establish and hate Facebook accounts free of charge. I think trust laws, however, is section two of the share act that sits at the heart of the current concerns. Aren't violent or adhered to based on whether consumers extractly valuable or platforms. Yeah, instead, the law prohibits illegal monopolies. It assumes that if a dominant company either becomes dominant or maintains dominant by taking action that is not on the merits, whatever price consumers pay is causing them harm. For Google, the primary focus, uh, mostly has left the search engine bulldoze its way into ad tech ecosystem in terms of editorial that purchase ads, publishers that sell them, as well as a platform that brings the parties together. In addition, company will be pressed to account for terms that are Required in Dual. Meanwhile, Facebook will come on there with a big like part of Instagram and Naval, which provide a view of the extent to which we're using WhatsApp before it bought the popular. 
Lawmakers are also expected to look at Facebook's alleged election to dismantle its programming interface response to competitive threats. And use it, uh, use it. This is definitely antitrust. A use of default set make it default some users understand how their personal data is used. How much more of this is there? Uh, let's see. Tim Cook and Jeff Bezos will make their historic appearance when they run for red herrings despite the. They just recycled that three. George Hale Law of Economic Cornell pointed out on their red herring. The ticker asked, well, why are they using this term red herring? Uh, Robert Hood, okay. There is always competition in big sense, blah, blah. A foreign acting chair of FTC cautioned, blah, blah, blah. Safeguard consider privacy, the protection of small businesses, and notions of fairness. Should we undertake it through regulatory action or consumer protection laws? She wrote in a letter to the committee chairs in April. Although we may sometimes think of an antitrust offense in terms of the NIA, an antitrust offense is better understood in terms of the alleged conduct's impact on the competitive process through which a firm makes a decision. Our free market system rests on the conclusion that markets are uh, Okay. Unfortunately, intervene when the evidence. Okay. Okay, so whoever said this is being a cuck. Also, a lot of not focused on about whether there is a country and they're certain to exclude new entrants. In doing so, they could be clearing ideas that have not yet been conceived. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, testimony scheduled to go out underway at 12 p.m. Eastern today. Yeah, so like I said, uh, people are still getting more angry, but for now, the big tech should be able to get out of this unscathed because usually nothing happens. But as long as more people get angry and more annoyed, it should uh, it should work in our favor eventually. Especially now that they bland, uh, bland, banned the black I think it was a rapper, the Wiley CEO guy for you know going on his angry tirade against Jewish people. So. A lot of shit's finally coming apart. Uh, so if Trump could just simply win re-election, and uh, I mean he's improving, he's improving, but I don't know. Now he's not going to hold in-person rallies anymore. It's, uh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, I don't know. I guess we'll just uh, we'll use as a thumbnail. If you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or my YouTube's at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so you can continue growing this channel. Today is Wednesday, so I'll probably see you all in tomorrow's video. Uh, I actually have some more thinking and research to do uh, for a big one. Uh, then I got a commission. I think that was, that was actually the Fiverr notification, so I think he's... Uh, let me see, did he fix it? Um, oh, that was not, what? So who messaged me? Oh my God, you just got back to me? Uh, you took eight days to get back to me. Yeah, well, okay. Yeah, you're, 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 I'm not hiring you. Uh, it was for, it was one night before I started using wallet builders. It was like, uh, I was going to, I was going to try to spend $400 to have a cryptocurrency made. And he just got back to me after eight days. Yeah, you're not, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to hand $400 or $500 to a complete stranger that takes eight days to get back to me. Especially when it's pretty obvious from the way I'm typing that I'm very motivated. I'm I want to give you my money. And you take eight days to fucking respond to what is essentially free work or free money. Like, like what's wrong with, like, like, yeah, everybody gets what they deserve, all right? You know, I didn't get to where I am by being lackadaisical. I mean, I look lackadaisical, and I do have a lot of free time, but, you know, a lot of my decision-making more or less has been on point, as I hope it will continue, because, you know, we'll find out when I uh, release this new cryptocurrency. I'm still trying to speed up the blockchain, so it's improving, but I think I'm still going to, I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm hoping maybe to release by Saturday, but we'll, we'll have to see. 
Anyway, I'll see you on tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching. And always remember, J uh, Johnson Chad, JFC coin, a 404 coin, and I'm not a big fan of this thing, but there's really... Oh, actually, yeah. Actually, who else do they have here? Actually, this is a better picture. Yeah. Why conduct now? Yeah, there we go. Yeah. This is a much better thumbnail because I'm going to have in the headline, you know, big tech, you know, hearing.